Hi friends and welcome to your daily devotional for Thursday, August 27th, 2020. This week we are talking about responsibility. So I want you to think for a moment about the first thing you remember being responsible for. Maybe it was a pet or a chore around the house. The next few moments think back to what it felt like to be responsible for something other than yourself. We begin today by turning to Psalm 26. We'll be reading verses 1 through 8. This reading and all of the readings today come from the Common English Bible. Listen now for God's word to us. Establish justice for me, Lord, because I have walked with integrity. I've trusted the Lord without wavering. Examine me, Lord. Put me to the test. Purify my mind and my heart because your faithful love is right in front of me. I walk in your truth. I don't spend time with people up to no good. I don't keep company with liars. I detest the company of evildoers, and I don't sit with wicked people. I wash my hands. They are innocent. I walk all around your altar, Lord, proclaiming out loud my thanks, declaring all your wonderful deeds. I love the beauty of your house, Lord. I love the place where your glory resides. Let us pray. God, I pray today for all who are hearing criticism and internalizing it, causing further harm. When I hear criticism, enable me to hear it, grieve for what it could have been, and then defiantly embrace the life you have called me to anyway. May my great thing in this life honor you. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 14, verses 13 through 18. Listen for God's word. I replied, Lord God, the prophets are telling them, you won't see war or famine, for I will give you lasting peace in this place. Then the Lord said to me, the prophets are telling lies in my name. I haven't sent them. I haven't commanded them. I haven't spoken to them. They are prophesying to you false visions, worthless predictions, and deceit they have made up on their own. Therefore, this is what the Lord proclaims concerning the prophets who are speaking in my name. When I didn't send them and who are telling you that war or famine will never come to this land. Those very prophets will die in war and by famine. And the people they are prophesying to will be thrown into the streets of Jerusalem, victims of famine and war. There will be no one to bury them or their wives or their children. I will pour out on them their own wickedness. So deliver this word to them. My eyes well up with tears. I can't stop weeping day and night because my virgin daughter, my people, has suffered a crushing blow and is mortally wounded. If I go into the fields, I see only the slain in battle. If I enter the city, I see only those suffering from famine. Even both prophet and priest wander about aimlessly in ignorance. In this exchange between God and Isaiah, we learn that false prophets are claiming to prophesy in God's name. This clearly makes God upset. Why do you think people claim that God tells them something when they know it did not come from God? Our 
Our New Testament reading today comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. Listen again for God's word. Therefore, imitate God like dearly loved children. Live your life with love, following the example of Christ who loved us and gave himself for us. He was a sacrificial offering that smelled sweet to God. Sexual immorality and any kind of impurity or greed shouldn't even be mentioned among you, which is right for holy persons. Obscene language, silly talk, or vulgar jokes aren't acceptable for believers. Instead, there should be thanksgiving. Because you know for sure that persons who are sexually immoral, impure, or greedy, which happens when things become gods, those persons won't inherit the kingdom of Christ and God. Nobody should deceive you with stupid ideas. God's anger comes down on those who are disobedient because of this kind of thing. And this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Paul says that when we allow things like sexual immorality, impurity, and greed to become gods, we won't inherit the kingdom. What is something that you've allowed to become a god and would like to let go? Let us pray. Gracious God, on my worst days and on my best, thank you for walking alongside me. Let your presence be known on my darkest of days and guide me back to you as I seek to give thanks in all that comes my way. Amen. Friends, arise and shine, for our light has come in the risen Lord Jesus. Go in peace this day. Stay well, stay healthy. I'll see you tomorrow.